Good evening, everyone. Myself, Ashu Sharma. I welcome you all in series of SQL Lights operators. Today, we will see some of these operators that we use in SQL Lights. Let's move with next slide. So here we have this concept that SQL Lite operators are reserved words or characters used in uh, SQL Lite statements when we use uh, where clause to perform the operations like comparisons and arithmetic operations. So operators can be used to specify conditions and as a conjunction for multiple conditions in SQL Lite statements. Operators are very important as we have uh, learned in the previous uh, some of those languages where we use operators uh, very much over there and uh, here we have this uh, mainly four types of operator in SQLite so arithmetic operators comparison operators logical operators and bitwise operators we had already enough experience about the operators that unary operators and uh, binary operators and some other operators like uh, some delimiters as well so it depends on the precedence and associativity rule that uh, how to operate with this. So move to the next slide. We will see that SQLite arithmetic operators. The following uh, examples are given and it specifies the different arithmetic operators in SQLite. Uh, in this uh, table, we have two variables A and B and holding values 50 and 100 respectively. So if we will see this, that uh, plus operator here, uh, we are using it as a binary operator because we have two operands A and B. So obviously it gives us uh, 150, then minus, it gives us minus 50. Same, uh, all these arithmetic operators performs as we have this modulus operators, which is used to divide left-hand operand by the right-hand operand and returns the remainder. So as we have this, so remainder will be zero once we uh, divide that uh, and make sure that there is a concept of division operator as well. So it is used to divide left hand operand by right hand operand. So A divided by B, so A is having 50 and B is having 100. So it will become that 0.5. So this is the way that uh, this operator works. Multiplication, very, very uh, simple concept. So this is that uh, we have once we talk about the specific that arithmetic operators in SQLite, like addition operator, subtraction operator, multiplication operator, division operator, and uh, modulus operator. So come to the next slide. <coughs> Here we have comparison operator. So we already had this, uh, the following table specifies the different uh, comparison operators in SQLite. In this table, we have two variables again, A and B, holding the same 50 and 100 respectively. So First one is double assignment, which is uh, having that equal. So it is used to check if the values of two operands are equal or not. If yes, then condition becomes true. So because of uh, 50 is not equals to 100, so this is going to be false and not true. Next is assignment. It is used to check if uh, values of two operands are equal or not. If yes, then condition becomes true. So uh, this is uh, important that uh, we are using these uh, comparison operators and uh, it is uh, as per the logic of uh, the condition that is going to be uh, present in the program. Next is not equal. It is used to check if the values of two operands are equal or not. If values are not equal, then conditions become true. So then in that case, the condition becomes true if it is not equal. Next one is it is used to check if the values of two operands are equal or not. If the values are not equal, then condition becomes true. So it's a greater than less than type of uh, uh, that operator we have. So it is used to check if the values of two operands are equal or not. So if values are not equal, then the condition becomes true because here we don't have that assignment or double assignment type of thing. Next one is uh, is greater than, it is used to check if the value of left operand is greater than the value of the right operand. If yes, then the condition becomes true. So A is having 50, B is having 100, and A is greater than B. So 50 is greater than 100 is not true. So it is not true. Next is lesser, uh, if left hand operand is less than the value of the right hand operand, if yes, then the condition becomes true. So 50 is less than 100, obviously it is true. Next one is uh, greater equal. It is used to check if the value of left operand is greater than or equal to the value of the right operand. If yes, then the condition becomes true. 
So this is the way these comparison operators used in the program. Now, there are some other examples also less than equal. If uh, it is uh, true, if it's yes, then condition becomes true. Uh, not less than so it is used to check if the value of left operand is not less than the value of right operand if yes then condition becomes true and uh, it is not greater so it is used to check if the value of left op operand is not greater than the value of the right operand if yes then the condition becomes true so this is that uh, way we use these comparison and arithmetic operators and uh, next one is the logical operators so logical operators uh, uh, having this list of uh, operators is and between exist in not in like blob not or is null is so everyone having its own description and is operator allows the existence of multiple condition in sql statement where clause between operator is used to search for values that are within a set of values given the minimum value and the maximum value exist the exist operator is used to search for the presence of a row in a specified table that meets a certain criteria so all things that depends upon the certain criteria of the presence of a row in a specified table next one is in the in operator is used to compare a value to a list of literal values that have been specified not in it is the negation of in operator which is used to compare a value of a list of literal values that have been specified so not in is uh, generally used as a negation of in operator and which is used to compare a value to a list of literals that have been specified next is like the like operator is used to compare a value to similar values uh, using wildcard operators glob this operator is used to compare a value to the similar values using wildcard operators. Also, GLOB is case sensitive. As uh, we all know, this is case sensitive, which is uh, one of that exceptions. And we can say this is for the large binary stuff. Next is NOT. The NOT operator reverses the meaning of the logical operator, which it is used, for example, exist, NOT between, NOT in, these are known as negate operators. So when we put this not as a prefix uh, among all these operators, then uh, these are the examples of negate operator. Next is or operator is used to combine the multiple condition in SQL statements where clause as uh, we have done in and, but and uh, specify for all the condition must true to run it smoothly, but or is having one of these two. Okay, it runs smoothly. Now, uh, is null, the null operator is used to compare a value with a null value. And is is operator work like this assignment, uh, which is again, uh, that replacement for that equal. So all of these are important operators of category logical operators. These are some other examples. Is not, the is not operator work like not equal or this is operator is used to add two different strings and make new one unique the unique operator searches every row of a specified table for uniqueness so unique operator generally searches for every row for a specified table for uniqueness there should not be any duplicacy or redundancy now come to the bit by operator which is uh, performing all sorts of operation bit operations on number of bits SQL like bitwise operators works on bits and perform bit by bit operation. Uh, here we have a truth uh, table for binary and and binary or. So as uh, I have said you when and is only true when all that condition is going to be true. So here we have these two inputs one one. It is only one. So it means that both conditions are true then only this is and is having true result otherwise it is going to be false and all rest entries in different rows are zero with respect to p binary and q here we have p binary or q so or having if one of the condition is true then it is going to be true so one zero it's true one one it's true zero one true zero 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 so this is that we have for a sql night bitwise operator which is very very simple uh, for understanding purpose. Let's assume that uh, two variables a and b having the value 60 and 13 respectively. So binary value of a and b are 
firstly we have to convert it into binary a and b and then uh, we have to perform bit by bit operation so we start with this that third one is one one so third one is one then fourth is one one then one then all of these bits uh, binary and is going to be zero because none of these uh, having one one stuff like that a or b we already uh, see if any of this is one then it is one this is one and uh, this is zero then one one again one one and zero zero so we start from this uh, side from the rightmost and uh, we will tend towards that leftmost part so this is the way that binary end and binary or will perform negation of a we have to just simply invert this 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 so 0 to 1 0 to 1 1 to 0 1 to 0 and then we have this double 1 0 0 and 0 0 1 1 so this is the way uh, we perform it's very very simple to uh, understand the the things that we have covered in this binary bit uh, that operators in sql light now there are some more examples uh, with that description uh, and is binary and operator copies a bit to a result if it exists in both operands. So obviously it, it, it just gives us that type of results. And here we have uh, equivalent is decimal equivalent is 12, which is uh, having this binary value. Binary or operators copies a bit if it exists in either operands. This is also true. And here in this result, we have 61. Binary one complements operator is unary and has the effects of flipping bits. So generally we deals with that zero to one, one to zero. This is the shift operator, binary left shift operator. The left operand values is moved left by the number of bits specified by the right operand. So there is that shift happens with two bits position, which is left shift operator. So it generates result 240, which is having this binary equivalent. And this is for the right shift operator. The operator is going to be uh, just moved it by uh, right by the number of bits specified by the right operator. So this is the way we perform these uh, bit operations. And uh, all these uh, operators are very, very important and crucial. Uh, at time being, we will use these operators like arithmetic operators, comparison operators, logical operators, and binary bit operators. Thank you very much for being with me in this session. If you like these videos, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so you may get notification uh, of the latest videos. Thank you very much.